Hey everyone, this is Vil. So in this MailChimp review video, I am not going to go through all of the different features, but rather than that, I'm going to tell you what exactly you need to understand about this email marketing service provider to decide whether it is a good platform for you or not. This is going to be a very informative video, so make sure to watch the whole video before you jump on and you choose this platform because I do think there are a couple of things that might actually change your mind. I have made another video on my main channel where I review all of the different email marketing softwares, so definitely check out the video I will leave a link down below in the description also every single week I give out one of my courses completely for free so just press thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel to enter the competition also I have special discounts for everything that I mentioned so check out all of the links down below in the description now let's jump straight into the video. All right, so we're going to start out with email automation because I think this is sort of one of the, if not the most important feature when it comes to email marketing. So MailChimp does have a pretty nice looking email automation, as you can see here, and they have uh, most of the things that you will need in automation. However, there are a couple of things that are lacking. So the first thing, that is lacking that some of the other email marketing softwares have such as GetResponse or ActiveCampaign. What I would like MailChimp to have is that when someone is going down your automation, I would like them to have split testing. So basically, let's say I'm, we are sending out email. Let's say imagine here you are sending out this email and you have a subscriber list and you want to basically see, okay, if I send this email out with uh, one title or if I send it out with a different title, which one is actually going to perform better? Or if I send out one email, let's say with two, after two days or the other email after four days to see which one is actually going to get more open rates and click-throughs and all of that. So this is something that MailChimp unfortunately lacks and some of the other email marketing platforms do have. Another very important thing that actually bothers me quite a bit about MailChimp. So as you can see, when someone goes down your automation workflow, um, you can basically set some sort of condition and based on that condition, uh, whether they qualify for it or they don't, then we can lead them to different actions. So one thing here, so if we open this, as you can see, this is called if else on MailChimp. And as you can see, you have a few different uh, things that you can choose from. So you got opened, you got clicked, was sent, did not open, did not click, was not sent. So the one thing that I don't like about it is that MailChimp is lacking. And I think pretty much all of the other email marketing softwares have, at least all the main ones, MailerLite, GetResponse, uh, ActiveCampaign, they definitely have this feature that you can actually choose what exactly was clicked within the email because here we can choose what's clicked and then basically we can select which email it is uh this is basically what i named the first email in this automation first step uh, example campaign but within the email i can have multiple links and let's say i have my social media links but i am selling perhaps my product or my service i don't really care if someone clicked on my social media links. What I really care about is, has someone clicked on a specific link within that email? And this is something that MailChimp unfortunately is lacking. So it would be nice if here under clicked, I could choose the different links within the email that if someone clicked on that link or they didn't click on that link, then according to that, I can take different actions. And this one, is very 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 important i would say more important than the first thing that i mentioned and this is something that mailchimp lacks so just something for you to keep in mind that if this is going to be important for you then maybe you should look into some other email marketing software uh, i do think that this is a pretty crucial feature that mailchimp unfortunately is lacking other than that though uh when it comes to all of the other main features as you can see they have um if else they have to wait to put in some sort of delay 
send email, add tags, add and remove from group. They have most of the features that you will need for automation. One feature actually that they also don't have, as you can see, you have add or remove from a group, but sometimes I want to maybe copy a subscriber to a group. So I want to have same subscriber on different groups. And instead of taking them from one group to the other, I just want to copy them. And this is another feature that once again, MailChimp just doesn't have. And most, at least the main email software providers, uh, again, Gut Response Active Campaign, MailerLite, they do allow you to copy users to different groups rather than just move them from one group to another. All right, when it comes to landing page builders, <laughs> MailChimp, I think, is not doing so well, to be honest. Uh, they have very, very basic landing page builders. So you can see here we got all of the different blocks that we can add, and there aren't that many blocks to choose from. And the kind of annoying thing for me is that Let's say I select this section here, the images section. Then if I want, I need to go in here to edit the images and so on. I can't just press on the image and resize it. And I can't just press on the text and just start editing right away and changing the text. I need to go here to the side. It's not a massive deal because at the end of the day, you can kind of ha have the same results, I guess but it is not very convenient and you will need to spend some extra time going through these different steps. And the one thing as well is that when it comes to customization itself, I can't just move the images uh, wherever I want. So for example here, let's say I have these two images here and with some of the other, actually, well, uh, basically just really would get response, I guess, from email marketing softwares. I can take this image and I can move it wherever I want within the text. And then I can really customize how this is going to look like. Or with some other uh, email marketing softwares, I can have uh, more different sections. So I can basically choose how exactly I want this to look. So I can have maybe, let's say, one, I can have maybe like three images or I can have different different combinations of text and image and call to action. And if I want, I can have a blog post integrated and so on and so forth. So this is something that MailChimp lacks a bit. And also another thing to keep in mind, if you will want A-B testing with your landing pages, which is really, really powerful, uh, and actually only GetResponse and MailerLite have this feature, only those two email marketing softwares, but MailChimp doesn't have that. So something to also keep in mind when you are looking into MailChimp and considering whether it's the right tool for you. If you look at the landing page templates, again, I don't really know what is this because it's just 10 templates that MailChimp is providing and honestly, they look pretty awful as well. So really, I would say they don't really give you anything to choose from. When you look at pretty much all of the other email marketing softwares, they are going to provide you with a lot more different templates and some really cool modern looking templates, even long uh, landing pages, whereas here you have very, very simplistic templates that probably are not really going to help you much. When it comes to pop-ups with MailChimp, again, I am not very impressed. It's very, very basic. And the one thing what I don't really like about this is if we add an image here, um, I can't quite resize the image. So this is something that is a little bit annoying because with most of the other email marketing softwares, at least I can resize this image a little bit. And I do also have some templates, which we don't have with MailChimp. They only allow you to have this builder and that is it. And then you can choose basically the layout style. If you want the image on the right, if you want it on the left, if you want it at the top. And that is kind of it, but they don't really allow you to customize anything more. Whereas with some of the other E email marketing softwares when it comes to pop-ups you do have a little bit more customization in terms of image and if you look at something like get response they actually have really really great builder basically the same landing page builder for their pop-up so you can really customize as much as you want so if this is something that's important for you if you think you are going to be collecting a lot of emails and you are really going to work hard on your pop-ups then definitely look into get response and mailer oh, sorry mailchimp 
I think is definitely uh, probably <laughs> the worst out of all of the email marketing softwares. Okay, when it comes to building out actual emails with MailChimp, as you can see, this is what the interface looks like. And I don't have anything too much to say. Uh, the only thing I would say, most of the time, they kind of look the same. These builders, they look pretty much the same, but they could have a few more blocks, I would say. So again, it depends which email marketing software you're comparing to, but at least the main ones that I recommend, they do have some more blocks to choose from, and that makes your life a little bit easier. Whereas with MailChimp, uh, you have the basic stuff, but really it's kind of just the basic stuff and they didn't really went that far to have some additional features that might help you to create something more interesting. The one feature that is different on MailChimp compared to other email marketing softwares is that MailChimp has a whole website builder and it's only actually another software that's MailerLite that also has a website builder. It's only MailChimp and MailerLite, these two softwares. And how is this different is because uh, you basically have this section here where you can add all of the different pages. So instead of people just going to a landing page, here they actually can actually have a menu and on the menu people can go to different pages. So if you have about page, perhaps you have services page or you have portfolio page, whatever, whatever it is, you can have all of the different pages and people actually can interact with a website rather than just a landing page. And when it comes to the actual landing page builder, it is very simple landing page builder. So honestly, I would, unless you are really desperate and you really don't want to spend any extra money and you just want to use this, then go ahead. But most likely I would say that the better option is for you to go with some sort of different tool that's actually a website builder rather than this. Uh, but as you can see, you can actually create a fairly nice looking website, but you are going to be stuck with a lot of things in terms of customization. If you can see here, if you choose layout, uh, again, here we can basically just choose, okay, we want the image on the right or we want the image on the left. And that is kind of it. I can't really move this image around. I can't, if I want to, let's say to have a frame around the image or I want to have some sort of background image for this image. I can't really do all of these different things that would allow me to really customize this website and make it really cool. Uh, so it is very limiting, but it's nice. Again, if you, this is something that you think you will need, it is definitely nice that they are providing this tool. And for some people, um, this might be applicable. But again, I would say that you will have a lot of limitations. So do you think twice before actually going for this website builder? All right, so now when it comes to pricing, MailChimp has a few different plans. So as you can see, first of all, they have a free plan. And with the free plan, you get up to 2000 contacts. And I believe it's 12,000 emails that you can send. So it does allow you quite a lot of contacts. Some of the other email marketing software, such as MailerLite and Moosend, they do have free plan as well. They only allow you up to 1000 contacts. However, it's the same amount of emails you can send out. So there isn't that much of a difference, to be honest. And the thing here with MailChimp is that they, do, they don't have all of the features on the free plan that they have on the essential and their standard plan. Uh, basically, if you will want to use some more advanced features, such as you can see, uh, multi-step journey, A-B testing, email templates, customer journey, so basically all of the automations and all of those kind of things you're not going to have these things on the free plan. So even though it provides you 2000 contacts, I don't think it is the best free plan out there. I would definitely uh, would suggest if you're going to go for the free plan to go with MailerLite or Moosend. And I have made some other videos where I compare those uh, platforms as well. So definitely check those videos out. Uh, but I don't think the free plan is that great. But again, if you just want to start out and you really just need a couple basic features, I guess you can pass with the free plan. When it comes to the other two plans, um, I would say that really, honestly, you will need to probably go with a standard plan if you want 
all of the main essential features, all of the, all the automations and all of that, which I do think if you're using email marketing software, you want to have all of those features because those features are really what allow you to get the most out of email marketing. So I don't think there is a point of going with the lesser plan and not having all of the automations. And as you can see, MailChimp even recommends this plan. It's probably the most popular plan. And if we scroll down, you will see here, if we choose 10,000 contacts, this plan costs $105 per month. And honestly, I think that is really overpriced. <laughs> when you look at some other platforms, um, as I already explained, I am not really impressed by anything that when it comes to MailChimp. I think they do have nice interface and they do have all of the basic features, but I do think they lack some features in terms of automation, in terms of landing pages, in terms of pop-ups. They definitely have place where they can improve and other platforms that I think are much better than MailChimp, they are charging around the same price. And some of the platforms such as MailerLite or Moosend, they're charging half of what MailChimp is charging. And they actually, I would say, they even have better features than MailChimp. So for me, I think MailChimp is just the biggest, it's the most well-known platform email marketing software out there. So I think it's kind of, they are just basically raising their prices because they know that a lot of people are going to sign up for MailChimp just because they are really well-known. And I don't know if they're the oldest one or not, but definitely most people, when they come to email marketing, they just hear about MailChimp and they just sign up without really thinking about it. But because of that, I think MailChimp just have raised their prices a lot. And I think they are definitely very, very overpriced for what they can offer for this size of email list or well, any size of email list, to be honest. So definitely would suggest if you haven't understood yet to look into some other email marketing software. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope it's going to help you to decide whether to go with MailChimp or perhaps to look into some other email marketing softwares, which is what I definitely recommend. As I said, I do have some special discounts and bonuses. Check out all of the links down below in the description. Also, I have made a video on my main channel where I compare all of the different email marketing software. So again, a link down below in the description, definitely check that video out. In general, if you want some tips on digital marketing, online business, all that kind of good stuff, check out my main channel. If you found this video useful, make sure to press thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon.